Ugra staff Lolia. The member for Lay says the vehicles bought through the PSIP and DSIP funds should be managed properly. There were reports on the misuse of the vehicles by the public sectors in the city. Rosso says all government vehicles in the district will be installed with GPS tracking devices to monitor the movements of the vehicles. I've talked to the Metropolitan Commander, he's agreed. Uh, all the late district uh, vehicles will be GPS. All the, every single police car in uh, Lay City, any government vehicle in Lay City, uh, will be, I'll be pushing for it all to be GPS so that we ensure that all vehicles are accounted for and that they are rightfully doing uh, work for the government and not uh, misusing or abusing the privileges. Lay District will also be working closely with the Lay Chamber of Commerce and other business houses to develop the city. Despite having funding problems, construction is underway for Angle General Hospital. The development is funded by the Australian government to a cost of 200,000 Australian dollars. That is a big, big uh, development for Lay and uh, much needed uh, to alleviate the health situation in Lay. I'd like to say a big thank you to the Australian government on this and I thank you to uh, the Planning Minister and the Health Minister for coming to Leigh and giving us good news. Another development in Leigh that would start next year is the upgrade of Nadzap Airport funded by the Japanese government to a cost of 800 million kina. The upgrade and reconstruction of the airport was part of the previous government's development plan. I've had some talks with JICA and they are well ahead and construction is possibly expected to start in May next year so after waiting all these years uh, people of Lay will deserve uh, get uh, what they rightfully deserve and another huge thank you from me and the people of Lay to uh, the Japanese government for this uh, very generous donation. Julie Badui Owa, National MTV News, Lay.